Hello and welcome to the announcement of the shortlist for the 2023 Klaus Fluger Prize. Set up in 2016, the Klaus Fluger Prize celebrates the most exciting newcomers to picture book illustration and is awarded each September to the illustrator of the year's outstanding debut picture book. From a long list of 15 picture books by debut illustrators, this year's panel of judges have chosen five to shortlist. Our judges are multi-award winning and much loved illustrator Lydia Monks, Joseph Namara Hollis, winner of the 2022 Klaus Fluger Prize, Ermi Merchant, founder and owner of independent bookshop Pickled Pepper Books in London, and Dr Sarah McConnell, course leader of the Masters in Illustration course at Nottingham Trent University. But before we hand over to them to introduce the five books that caught their eyes this year, we want to say a huge thank you to the man behind the prize, Klaus Fluger himself. Recently awarded the London Book Fair Lifetime Achievement Award, Klaus has been a luminary in children's publishing for nearly five decades and a children's publisher beyond compare. His passion for championing emerging talent is hugely inspiring, as is recognised yearly in the picture book prize he established and funds so generously. Thank you, Klaus. And now, which are the five books that have made it onto this year's Klaus Fluger Prize shortlist? Let's find out. Hi, my name is Dr. Sarah McConnell, and I'm talking to you today about The Baker by the Sea by Paula White. So the book begins with a lyrical sequence showing undulating hills and fields through a series of spreads. Um, we zoom across this landscape towards where the land meets the sea. And this is a space where the story takes place. So text and image work seamlessly in this book um, together on each page to create a really poetic feeling um, of this seaside town. And Paula uses a limited palette, so working with muted tones, muted greys um, and tonal effects and a blue colour which is there on every page um, which creates this lovely sort of harmonious feel as you go through the different pages. Um, but the main thing that's really interesting about this book I think is the central character perhaps isn't the small boy who the story is about but it's actually about the the central character is the landscape really it's the town itself it's the people working away in that community that create a real sense of a strong character um, and you see this growing and changing as you work your way through the book i'm joseph hollis and i was the winner of the klaus bluger prize last year it's been an absolute pleasure being on the judging panel for this year's books. I'm going to talk to you about two special books. We have Saving the Butterfly. This is published by Walker Books, illustrated beautifully by Jill Smith. So the story follows two siblings who are refugees, displaced from home, and they struggle to forge a new life in a, in a land that's foreign to their own. Jill's illustrations shine a light on a difficult and important topic and she does so with sensitivity and warmth. This book plants a seed of hope, bringing colour to dark times and this is heartfelt as Jill's characters convey delicate emotions. So the next book, the next picture book I'm excited to share is Mildred the Gallery Cat published by Tate Publishing. This is illustrated and written by Jono Gans. This is playful and vibrant, and the illustrations have as much swag and cheekiness as the lead role, Mildred the Gallery Cat. There's a brilliant sense of humor throughout, and this is brought to life by the colorful and dynamic approach to the page design. It's graphic, striking, and exciting and it celebrates art, creativity and our love for our mischievous feline friends. So that's two very different books but they both have so much to offer. Hi, 
My name is Emmy Merchant and I'm um, one of the directors at Pickle Pepper Books. Um, we are a children's specialist bookshop in Crouch End, North London, um, and we do lots of events um, for children aged 0 to 12. Um, and we also sell a lot of picture books. I'm delighted to be one of the Klaus Fluger judges this year for 2023. Um, and it's been very exciting to see um, the long listed illustrators coming through. Um, we've seen a really varied um, group of new illustrators emerging. So that's been really exciting. Um, I wanted to talk more specifically um, about one of our shortlisted uh, books um, and illustrators. Um, it's Alice Courtley and the book is Lost in the City. Um, we as judges felt that Alice um, created a world that was really interesting and consistent um, and we felt that the colour palette was really interesting um, and how it was really um, told from the viewpoint of the child. It felt like the illustrations really um, captured that. Overall, it's been an absolute pleasure being a judge this year, so thank you very much Klaus Fluger Prize. Hello, I'm Lydia Monks and I'm going to talk a little bit about Flooded by Mary Apple in the Straggle, which and I thought was the most beautiful book. I absolutely loved it when I got it in the post, I was very excited. Um, I absolutely love her drawings of all the little animals. Um, they're all so brilliant, she does big animals, small animals, but her line work's just beautiful on all of them, these lovely giraffes. And I loved the use of colour minimal colour that I really liked and her sense of design is beautiful so it was um, my absolute favourite but it's, it's up there certainly it's so beautiful I can't believe it's her first book it's very impressive I have to say um, look at that it's amazing so um, I very much enjoyed that one how beautiful very talented lady